How are you? I'm great. How does it feel to be, so last time we were here, it was your movie. It was, yeah, and it was, uh, the fans are rabid, mm -hmm. the fans are psyched, the fans know more about the movies than I think the people who make the movies, which is awesome. I don't know, you know a lot because you're a big comic book fan, I'm so. A, I'm a pretty big comic nerd. It's nice to be here tonight and not have the weight of the movie on me. It's someone else's movie, it's the Russo's night. Um, but I've seen the movie. Yeah. This and? Will, this will be the third time. I, I love it. It is amazing. Those they, they knocked it out of the park. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. Did you now did you feel a little bit possessive about lending Ant Man to them? I felt really possessive. Uh, when the Russos, when they were all writing the movie, um, they came to the cutting room and I showed them some stuff from the movie and showed them, you know, Paul playing Scott Lang as Ant Man. Um, and then when they went off and Paul went off with those guys, I felt jilted. But now I'm over it. I, I, you know, I had some time and I, I really processed my feelings and, and got past it. Um, but Ant-Man is, uh, for me obviously, but I think for everybody, a highlight of the movie. Absolutely. No, I, I saw it tonight. It'll be my second time seeing it and what they do is really special. Um, is there anything you can tell us about Ant-Man and the Wasp? Anything? I can tell you that we're hard at work uh, writing the movie right now. So uh, we've been working, we've been holed up in a room, Paul Rudd, myself, Adam McKay, uh, Gabe Ferrari and Andrew Barr, who are our writers, so we're all brainstorming the story. And I think the only thing I can tell you with certainty at this point, because we're still about two years away from the movie coming out, uh, is that it's going to have stuff in it that you've never, ever seen in a movie before. That is very, very tantalizing. Yes. Um, give me, give the so we're talking live to the fans right now. Give me a little bit of insight into what it's actually like in the writers' room with you guys. I mean, are you just like cracking jokes? You all like on your own computers doing your own thing? How does it work? The writers' room is um, smaller than you might think, um, and there's a lot of food. Well, it's Ant Man, so everything is small. Yes, it's very small. Yeah, we shrink ourselves down and we go inside a little matchbox and we work. Um, it's it's fun. I mean, it's us throwing out a bunch of ideas and you know what we want to see in the movie and where we want those characters to go. And we have no cards up. It's chaotic and it's really fun. I mean, with Paul and Adam McKay in the room, you're going to have fun. Absolutely. And I know Paul had said that there was uh, you know some improv on the set. Are you anticipating that again for Ant Man and the Wasp? Well, we like to you know we definitely like to get the script exactly where it needs to be, but then really have fun. Because Paul and, and obviously Michael Pena and everybody, they really excel and they want to they want to keep it fresh and, and I want to see what those guys come up with in the moment. So that's that's a fun part of it for me. Well, we can't wait to see. I know you're going to have a great time tonight. Thank you so much for stopping to talk to the Marvel fans. All right, thanks for having me. All right, take care. See you.